almost every month, I tweet Netflix and say, we need a flight attendant docuseries um, because of traveling gun my name is thomas i'm a regional flight attendant for those who do not know and are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and leave a comment so we can interact with one another so today i began a five-day trip i was off for two days and originally my trip was supposed to start with a deadhead to savannah work from savannah to laguardia laguardia to bangor and i was supposed to be done at like 12 o'clock 11 12 o'clock tonight so around 11 o'clock today, I get a message saying that my schedule changed to where they just did head me to Charlotte and that's it. And then I work to LaGuardia tomorrow. So don't know why it changed don't know what happened. I didn't ask any questions. I got done a lot earlier and I still get paid protected for that particular flights because it was it's more credit hours than what I actually was changed to. On um, this past Saturday, I had my father's memorial and uh, it went pretty well. You know, a lot of people showed up and uh, show, pay their respects to my father. And um, so a friend of mine, he did the obituaries or whatever, of me and my brothers, he did the obituary for us and, you know, donated his time. He didn't want any money or anything. He just, you know, did it for us out of, you know, the love and kindness of his heart, so. But, you know, it is what it is, one of those things. As time goes on, you know. But um, other than that, I'm finna go work out before the um, Super Bowl comes on and also y'all remember the last time I was here in Charlotte we had the fire alarm go off at 3 30 in the morning and I let it go off again at 3 30 this morning it's the beginning of the trip I'm definitely gonna call hey my, my rest was interrupted I need more rest and they figure it out from there but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning once I get up for day two good morning everybody welcome back to day two of five and um Today is just a three-leg day. I think I catch back up with my trip um, that I was supposed to originally have. So I go from Charlotte to LaGuardia, sit for two and a half hours, then LaGuardia to Nashville, Nashville back to LaGuardia. And I end in LaGuardia about 10 o'clock tonight. So I think I do catch up with my trip. Um, it was canceled yesterday due to the weather in New York. And I guess some people got stuck, so they switched people around. So I think that was the reason why my schedule changed. Also, I want to take this time to talk about how the bereavement process works with my company. And I think it's standard across a lot of companies. So the standard for bereavement is three days. And um, and I think that's most companies. Of course, you can take longer if you need to take longer. But um, so I took my three bereavement for my trip that I was actually on because it was going to take me off anyway and just use personal time. And I wouldn't have got paid for that trip. So I just went on ahead and used the bereavement because I was already off for I think five days after that particular trip anyways. So, and it just gave me time to kind of get, you know, do things and try to settle my father's affairs and stuff like that. Now, if I needed more time, sure, I could have taken the personal days, but I just wouldn't have been paid for those personal days. And, you know, um, having, you know, then I had a trip after I had the eight days off. And then, you know, his service was, on a Saturday after the trip, and then I started this particular trip. Now, like I said, if I needed to take the time, I could have taken the time and just told them I need more time to myself to get my head right and use personal days, but it's just personal days are not paid. The And I think, like I said, the company standard is three. My mom, she's a teacher's hers was three days. My aunt's a teacher's hers was three days. So I think everybody's is three days across the board, I'm assuming, but, and of course, Three days isn't enough time to get your head right to, you know, make sure, you know, with a loved one, especially if you're the only child and to handle everything, three days is not, definitely not enough time. But the fact that I was off for five days after that, that's why I went ahead and did that. So I had, and then my brother's in Jacksonville, so I was able to call places, do things, settle his affairs, 
Me and my brother split everything down the middle and then, you know, we're going our way. But just wanted to explain that a little bit to you all. I'm finna get ready to go down to this van and I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to New York. <laughs> Hello everybody, I've made it here to New York. It is 11.15. Um, today's flight was very uneventful. Um, nothing happened, just was a long flight going to Nashville for the simple fact that we had 110 mile an hour headwind, which means it's gonna take us longer because we're flying into the wind. But it was quicker coming back here, so it took us like an hour and 25 to come back from Nashville to New York. Um, I have a 10 o'clock report time tomorrow, so this is like one of those short overnights, but I'm not gonna get undressed or anything because when I came in this room, the heat was on, but it doesn't look like it's moving. I think I'm gonna have to change rooms, but I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes to try to heat up and see if the heat um, actually works before I get undressed because it's entirely too cold here in New York to not have any heat. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for, what's tomorrow? Day three. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to day three. Today is only two legs. We just do a Nashville turn and that's it. Hopefully, that's all it's gonna be. It's no extra delays or anything like that. Um, also wanna say, um, you know, y'all bear with me for a while. You know, I said I was gonna make certain videos or whatever like that. Um, it's a lot of stuff as far as mentally that I have to get myself, you know, back in the, in the space of creating you know, dealing with, you know, the past of my father. So I hope you all understand that. And, you know, I want to keep my promise and say what I, you know, do what I say I was going to do. Plus, I'm still kind of bummed out about, I'm, I'm keep hope alive for all my Italy stuff with my hard drive being uh, damaged and everything. See if they can recover it at free since it's actually still under warranty. But other than that, I'll see you guys a little bit later on. I'll be back in LaGuardia tonight, same hotel. Oh, actually, I had to change rooms because my hotel room did not warm up. So they moved me to another room. So I always wait before you get undressed. Make sure that heat works. But I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get back to New York. Hello everyone, so I'm back here in LaGuardia. Today was very uneventful. Um, same thing happened again, going to Nashville, we had a headwind. Not as long, but it still took two hours and three minutes. And it took us longer to get back here, I think because we had to slow down because of uh, the flow into LaGuardia. But um, other than that, that is all. Um, oh, one thing I, I wanna tell you all, so almost every month, I tweet Netflix and say we need a flight attendant docu-series um, because of everything that has happened. I don't know if you heard about the uh, flight attendant that hit a passenger over the head with the coffee pot because he was trying to open the flight deck door. Then somebody was trying to open the emergency exit because they wanted passengers to record them so they can go viral and spread their view of whatever it was about craziness. So almost every month I tweet Netflix and say we need a docu-series somebody's going to answer if there's anybody that's a tv producer somebody that has any connection that watches this channel please hit them up for me because they have plenty of flight attendants to choose from on youtube but i'm gonna go get a quick workout and i have to be up at 4 30 in the morning it is an early report day tomorrow so i'll see you guys good morning everybody welcome back today is day four um it's early um today i have what is it three legs from LaGuardia to Columbus, Ohio, back to LaGuardia, then I go to Northwest Arkansas, which first time actually ever going to um, Columbus, actually. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys once I get to Northwest Arkansas. Today I'm done a little bit earlier, three o'clock, which my schedules come out today. So therefore, if I don't like what I see, I can, I'm, I'm available to be able to drop it or try to swap it around today. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on. <music> Hello everybody, so I made it here to Northwest of Arkansas. Today's flights were very uneventful and also very, very, very light. Um, coming here, it was only 14 passengers and it was a long three hours and 14 minutes. And it was a mail flight, but again, it's just the boxes. We just passed, I just passed out the boxes. That took like five minutes. 
I can't wait for them to bring back the actual full meal where you actually have to sit down the tablecloth, warm up the meals. At least it takes a little bit more time off the flight. Um, schedules did come out. I'm satisfied with the exception of my very first trip is two, three days back to back. And they gave me a 30 hour in Charlotte, um, Charlottesville, Virginia. So it's a four, technically it's a four day, but a full day I'm in Charlottesville doing nothing. Why couldn't they give me 30 hours in Key West or something like that, which they'll never do. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or if I'm gonna swap that out because I don't know if I wanna do 30 hours there. But um, I have about 15 minutes until the uh, window opens for us to drop things. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow morning. I have to be up at 3.45 for a 4.45 shuttle and tomorrow's go home day. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Today is go home day and I couldn't be happier. Um, it's very early, but today is only three legs. Today I go from Northwest Arkansas back to Atlanta, Atlanta to Columbia, South Carolina. Then I'm done um, about, what's the time? About one-ish, something today. Um, so lately I've been working out a lot longer in the gym. I've been doing a lot of, uh, more cardio, I should say in the gym. And let me tell you, the cardio will have you sleeping like a baby. And I guess because my body isn't used to doing it. So it feels like I'm so sleepy, like I overwork myself. But when I wake up, I feel very, very rejuvenated and, and fresh. So, and I think I'm gonna stick with it, doing more and more cardio as time goes on, but I only have like maybe about 10 minutes to get downstairs. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later once I close out the video. Hello everybody, so I finally made it home into this five day trip. Very uneventful, three flights, full flights because it's Atlanta and Atlanta has always have full flights, but uh, the last two flights was a no service flight, so I didn't even really do anything besides have my flying partner do the announcements. Uh, I think I'm gonna go change clothes and come back outside and just sit on my porch in my little rocking chair and just enjoy it's 75 degrees right now. A little breeze and a little gloomy, but it's supposed to rain. But either way, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. As always, hug on the ones that you love, tell the ones that you love that you love them.